Hello, in this short video, I want to show you how to extrude a boundary face zone in Fluent to extend the solution domain without having to exit Fluent. A typical application of this is to extend the solution domain, for example, when a resecreating flow is impinging on a flow outlet. Note that if you have a polyhedral mesh, uh, this capability cannot be used. So now let's see this in Fluent. From Fluent Launcher, you need to make sure that the processing options is set to serial and not parallel. The reason for that is the commands that I'm going to use for extruding the face zone, they are not available when you run Fluent uh, under parallel mode. The other point is uh, the dimensions must be set to 3D because the commands, they are not, again, are not available for the 2D cases. You set the working directory and click on OK. Then I'm going to read the case file. You can read the case file or the mesh file. Here I have the case file. I select the case file and click on OK. Before I start to extrude the face zones, I'm going to just uh, display the mesh. So as you can see, the mesh is a very simple mesh. Uh, I have a cylinder with an inlet, outlet, and a wall. Okay, so to extrude the face zones, you need to use the commands uh, from console. So in the console window, you can hit enter, and this shows you the available commands. Here I want to go first to define. You don't need to put the entire name, just a few letters of it. Uh, would be enough. So now I'm in define. If I hit enter again, it's going to show me the commands that are available under define. Then I'm going to go to boundary conditions. From boundary conditions, I'm going to go to modify zone. And here I hit on enter. And there are two commands that you can use, extrude phase zone delta and extrude phase zone para. So I'm going to show you in this example how to use extrude phase zone delta. If you're interested to see how to use the other one, you can uh, look it up in the user guide. Okay, so extrude E-F-Z-D. Okay, so it's asking me for face zone ID or name. To find out the face zone ID, you can go to boundary conditions. So I want to extrude the outlet. So as you can see, the ID for uh, outlets is 14. I put 14 here, hit on enter. So then it's asking me the distance delta, the first distance delta that I want to have. So this is basically the thickness of the first layer that's going to be added to the outlet. So the length of the entire uh, cylinder is 0.1 meter. I'm going to just put some number and I'm going to exaggerate the thickness just to show you the layers that are added to make it visually uh, more clear for you. So I'm going to put like one tenth of 0.1 meters, so 0.01. So the first layer going to have 0 0.01 uh, meter thickness. The second layer I'm going to put uh, two times larger. And for the third layer I'm going to put 0 0.03. Okay, I'm going to add only three layers. You can uh, add more, but whenever you want to stop adding more layers, what you need to do is just hit on enter. And then it's going to go to the next option available in this command. So it's asking me if I want to extrude the face zone. I'm going to say yes. And now if I go back to display mesh, you see that a wall has been added here. So I click on display. And you can see the layers that are added. The three layers are added. As I said, I exaggerated in the thickness of these layers just to make it visually more clear for you. But usually we want to respect a transition ratio between the cells that are available, already available in your mesh and the cells that you want to add. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.